Hello everyone, welcome to the SQLT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a challenging problem from limit. Here, we are going to find limit of 1 over n squared times the nth root of e plus 2 times the nth root of e squared up to n times the nth root of e to the power of n, where n goes towards infinity. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. To solve this problem, I'm going to rewrite what I have here first. Instead of having nth root of e, I'm going to write it as e to the power of 1 over n. Similarly, for the nth root of e squared, I'm going to write it as e to the power of 2 over n, and so on and so forth, as you can see here. Now, I have e to the power of 1 over n plus 2 times e to the power of 2 over n and so on and so forth over n squared. Let's rewrite n squared that I have in the bottom of this fraction as n times n and then we are going to focus on the first expression that I have here. Basically, I'm going to rewrite e to the power of 1 over n plus 2 times e to the power of 2 over n and so on and so forth over n as 1 over n sigma i over n e to the power of i over n. As you can see here, i is going to be between 1 and n and here n is going to move towards infinity. Now, Remember, I need to find the sigma of i over n e to the power of i over n. Let's just start with using xi as i over n. Here, x1 is going to be 1 over n, and xn is going to be n over n. And we know that delta x is going to be 1 over n. Now I'm going to use Riemann sum. Here, I'm going to change what I have from sigma to integral and it's going to be between 0 and 1 x e to the power of x dx to find the integral of x e to the power of x dx from 0 to 1 I'm going to use integration by part remember integral of u dv can be calculated as uv minus the integral of v du here I'm going to use u for x and then e to the power of x dx as dv. If dv is defined as such, I can say that v is going to be e to the power of x. Altogether, I can write the integral of x e to the power of x dx from 0 to 1 as x e to the power of x minus e to the power of x and I need to find it from 0 to 1. When x is 1, then x e to the power of x minus e x is going to be 0. When x is 0, I'm going to have negative 1 here. Altogether, 0 minus minus 1 is going to be 1, and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, mass involved activities, and problems from different mass competitions at Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.